This video is brought to you by PDF Element Pro, the most productivity PDF editing tool for working from home during this season. So with PDF Elements, you can use on different devices like Windows, Mac and iOS. With PDF Element, it is pretty simple. All the tools can be found on the left. Moreover, you can edit, remove, customize font, change font color, highlight and so on. You can even convert your document or PDF into many different files. Further information can be found in description and comment. Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. Today I have got you another top 10 brand new site idea tweaks and they are compatible with iOS 13 to 13.4.1. So now let's jump straight into the first one. So this is a widget so you can go to settings and make sure you have seen HTML installed on your device. Before you can get this widget to work, you need to install MK1 and MK1 for Zen HTML and all of those can be found in description so you can find detail in description. And now I can go to lock screen. I can enable lock screen on the top and then we can go to false ground widgets. So make sure you select on false ground otherwise this widget doesn't work. And now I can click on add widget and then you need to find the view control. It is right here, click on it. And then you can see the little bar right here so you can um, adjust it. I'm gonna put it on the side as you can see here. And if you click on settings button, you can see all of the button are enabled by default. So we can leave it as default. And then I can click on sale. And now I can click on check button. And if I go to my lock screen, you can see the sidebar here, I can click on it. And you can see a bunch of options pop up and you can scroll as well. So you can toggle some options from here. Let's say I want to disable dark mode. I just click on this button. You can see dark mode is disabled. Or I can click on it again to enable dark mode. And we have airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so on. You can also mute or you can also um, adjust the volume as well. So you can see by the button right here. It is very awesome or you can play the music from here as well or you can even lock your phone. Move on to the next one. The tweaks allow you to change the color on the scroll bar as you can see while I am scrolling. We can see here the bar has a new color and what you need to do just select the color from here. You can make color 1 and color 2 and now we can select the color 2 right here and I can click on done. And then we have border color as well where you can slide here. And then we can just um, apply on the top. I can click on apply. Now go back to settings. As you can see while I am scrolling, you can see the bar right here on the right side. And it is hard to see, but I'm gonna zoom. And you can see right here. This one is a tiny tweak for music app. So usually when you go to music and when you want to um, add your music into the favorite one, so for example, if you add the heart button, it's gonna stay next to the song as you can see here. You will know which one is your favorite song. And for example, if I select on the song, and then when I go to the music player, and I can click on the three dot right here, and then I can add heart, I just click on love right here. And now when I um, go back, you can see the heart button is next to the song. This is the tweak that allow you to um, change the music player on the lock screen. So it's gonna give you a little bit of customization. So if I go to settings and you can go to the tweaks and you can enable and you can see we have background opacity level. So where you can adjust the background opacity, but I'm gonna go to here and then we have black and white. So let's select on black. And now I can respring. After the phone has been respring, so I'm gonna go to music and play some music. So let's play this one. And now I can go to my lock screen. You can see here we have the music player with the black title and black button. Um, you may need to select Y so it is better. But um, last time I select on black, that's why it is so like that. For those of you that don't like the default setting, you can um, install a tweak called top settings. So you can go to here and then you can enable this button or you can manually um, customize the setting app by enable this button and we have um, the color as well. But I'm gonna um, enable on the top here so it is much easier for me. So you just enable this button and then click on apply. Click on OK. After the phone has respring, so if you go back to settings, you can see we have a new style right here. 
so the cell is much smaller and we have the space on the side of the screen if you want the ipad style you can install switcher style so just go to settings and then you can enable this button so i'm gonna apply change and i'll click on ok so now after your phone is respring you're gonna go back to multitasking and as you can see here we have the ipad style for multitasking omega is a brand new tweak that gives you a new redesign on power menu so just simply go to settings and then go to omega preference so you can see here we have the presets where you can select different style for your power menu so we have here we have sidebar we have platters or you can select the custom one and for me i prefer platter it is much uh, better for me and then we have appearance where you can select um, the appearance for the power menu so you can select either light mode adaptive or dark mode but i'm gonna go to dark mode and now let me demonstrate you so now i can go to general and when i click on shutdown button you can see the style pop up here so we have um, respring we have restart shutdown as you can see here now let me select different style for you let's go to sidebar for sidebar it's gonna appear the icon instead of the text if you go back to general and when i click on shutdown you can see here we have four button right here where you can shut down restart or you can respring for me i recommend you to install it fix so it may help you to fix your phone when your phone is stuck so for example if you have many tweaks at the same time and sometimes your phone is stuck you're gonna use the method to fix your phone so it just um, put your phone into safe mode you just um, use the switch button here you just use the switch mode here to go to um, safe mode so you just um, enable it and then disable and as soon as I disable you can see my phone is entering safe mode and after that you can just um, go to side here and uninstall a tweak that um, crash and now I'm gonna restart back and if you are a theme creator you can install app store bundle ID so what it tweaks does it just give you a bundle ID for each application so if you go to the app store let's say I want to know this app bundle ID I just hold on it and as you can see it's gonna pop up the bundle ID and it doesn't matter whether the app is installed or not installed on your device you can see the bundle ID directly from the app store finally move on to the last tweak this tweak called you up and usually when you set the alarm on your phone it just gonna stop when you click on stop it will stop directly but the tweak it gonna make sure that you are um, awake after you set the alarm and in order to stop the alarm you need to um, calculate so as you can see here you need to um, go that math and then calculate and after the answer is correct the alarm will stop so it just help you to stay awake and not just click on stop and get to sleep again and it is very awesome finally thanks for watching i hope you like all of these brand new tweaks and then we'll catch you guys in the next one